beautiful people. <laughs> I can't even see my own screen because the sun is so bright, but that's okay. Walking video again, because uh, somehow that's, what's, that's what seems to speak to my heart right now. So that's what it's going to be. Can't really put those on YouTube, but that's okay. This is just for you. So my question is, are you at the beginning or at the end? And here's what I mean by that. I had a coffee today with, uh, with uh, my friend Marnie, who is an amazing person. And I was asking her to help me brainstorm this thing that I've been talking about. What is the word for women who are, say, above 50, uh, whether they're postmenopausal or not? Stupid phone call. Uh, whether they're actually postmenopausal physically or not, it doesn't matter. If they're in the stage of life that they are no longer <laughs> wiping their children's behinds and running them hither and yon, and they actually have the time to take care of themselves and to consider their life ahead. I hang out in a lot of uh, menopausal groups or postmenopausal groups, support groups, and what I find is that a lot of women are angry and confused because they don't know what to do with themselves. Quite aside from the uncomfortable symptoms of menopause, there's just this feeling that they don't know who they are, they don't know what they're supposed to be doing. You know, whether they've had children or not, especially if they have had children and all of a sudden they're bereft of this role, but even if they never had children, even if they're, uh, you know, always just been them and maybe a spouse or a cat, or whatever it is they've been with, they're, they're restless, they're uncomfortable, they don't know what to do with themselves. Uh, so what is it with this, with this say, stage of life? And it's funny because I asked Marnie for the whatever words she could think of and she also came up with crone and sage and that was pretty much it. There are no words for us. This is crazy. One of the, then she said something which I just totally loved and I'm going to chew on it for a while and see what I can do with it and I would love your help if you want to uh, uh, help me develop this thought. She said, we're like teenagers of our senior years. <laughs> we are, we're not at the end. I mean, once upon a time, if you were in your 50s, you were near the end of your life. But we're nowhere near the end. If we take good care of ourselves, we can go for decades still. And we can change the world. We are so powerful, but we don't realize it. We're not socialized to be powerful. But uh, quite aside from that, she, I, I just love the way she said that we are in the teenage years of our senior years. <laughs> we're still strong. You know, please God, we're healthy. We're not, you know, we can walk. We can, some of us can even run. We can do all sorts of things. We can go to the gym, we can lift heavy things. We can, you know, maybe we notice a twinge here and there. You know, we have to take care of ourselves. We are actually not teenagers. <laughs> teenagers can get away with abusing their bodies. We can't, but we don't want to abuse our bodies anymore because we are now queens. We are now sages. We are now women who take care of themselves, who take impeccable care of themselves. So. I love this idea of being a teenager of the senior years, but it's, it's a little awkward. You could turn it into teen sagers. I love that suggestion as well. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether that is the final word, if you'll excuse my, you know, the really bad pun there. But um, something, something like that, something to convey the fact that we are uh, older and wiser and sager, and we are queens. We are not little girls and princesses anymore. We are the women with the power. And here's the thing, how do we deal with this power? How do we work this power for good? How do we prevent this crazy world from destroying itself because of all these idiots who are aiming missiles at each other? How do we use our power for good? And who are we? What is our name? What is the name of this group of, of women who are no longer encumbered by young children, who now have the time, the mindset, the bandwidth to actually go out and save the world? This is what I want to know. 
And thank you, Marnie, for helping me crystallize what I'm so passionate about. I was thinking about helping women in their individual lives, which you know is very important, and it's still part of a very important part of what I do because you know every person is an individual, and you have to start it with the individual. And as you know, nutrition is close to my heart, and it's a very important part of what I do and in building in building this tribe. But let's build this tribe of women who are older, who are strong, who are powerful, who are going to save the world. Because, yeah, the millennials are awesome and we love them. But uh, we are the ones right now with the power. So help me find this word for the women of power that we are. So everyone have a great day. Oh, I almost forgot my website, energyqueens.com, because that was a name that I chose, and I still think it's a good one, but it might be a little bit too individual and not enough saving the world. But yeah, I'm not going to change it to teensagers.com, I think, not just yet. Great idea, but I'm not sure I'm ready for that. But uh, if you want to think about this, if you are a woman in this stage of life who is ready to go out there and step into her power then contact me. Go to my website, energyqueens.com or hadassavitar.com. It's the same thing. Uh, You can uh, join my mailing list where I send out uh, uh, an email every Monday talking about mindset things. And, um, or you can drop me a note and I would totally love to talk with you. You can drop me a a message here on Facebook or um, we'll see where else I put this. Maybe I'll make it into a podcast. Anyway, everyone have a great day. Have a great long weekend if you're in Canada where we are going to be celebrating Victoria Day. So everyone has the day off on Monday, so very nice. And uh, remember, I love you. Oh, and Shabbat Shalom, if that happens to be what you celebrate. Bye.